good day everyone, especially to our instructress, Mom Carla Joy Palaris. I am Maricar Balbuena Castillo and currently taking Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English at Mount Carmel College of Casiguran. And I'm going to discuss my topic about the rule of nurture and the rule of appropriacy. What is the rule of nurture and the six principles and what is the rule of appropriacy? I know some of you is already familiar in this kind of rules. Therefore, before I discuss the role of nurture and apropriacy, let us discuss the grammar first. Are you familiar in grammar? If that's so, here is my question. What things come first to your mind when you hear about the words grammar? Great! Do you already know what the grammar is? Grammar is the system of a language. People sometimes describe grammar as the rules of language, but in fact, no language has rules. If we use the world rules, we suggest that somebody created the rules first and then spoke the language, like a new game. But languages did not start like that. Languages started by people making sounds which evolved into words, phrases, and sentences. No commonly spoken language speaks. All languages change over time. What we call a grammar is simply a reflection of a language at a particular time. We also can assume that grammar is the mental system of rules and categories that allows humans to form and interpret the words and sentences of their language. A linguist, Davis Crystal, argued that grammar is the business of taking a language to pieces to see how it works. Okay, now let's go to our next discussion, the rules of nurture and the rules of appropriacy. The rule of nurture. Teaching doesn't necessarily cause learning, not in any direct way. Instead of teaching grammar, therefore, try to provide the right conditions for grammar learning. The rule of nature arcs for providing the conditions for grammar learning. The input they get, their output, the feedback they get, and their motivation. In nurture, we also have the six principles.
context word can be used and discuss what is appropriate in their own cultures. So in general, it is exposure to a range of authentic material that will help students develop their understanding of appropriacy. I hope you learned a lot on my report. So before we end our discussion, I will be giving you a reflective essay, a minimum of three questions. So you must answer the following questions in five to ten sentences. You may start now. Thank you.